Let's go next to a treaties from Boston, a treaties from Boston. Uh, what, what are you like a Dune fan? Uh, yes, I am very much. I say this as I'm sitting right next to my Dune poster. All right. Good. Um, well, don't sit too you, close. You can to hear me. me. All right. I can hear you fine. Uh, excellent. Okay. So I have a couple of questions. Um, so Bernie in 2016 and 2020 ran and you know almost got the nomination, but wasn't able to secure it. But in doing that, he was able to sort of renew a progressive movement within mm -hmm. the country and within the Democratic Party. Um, and somewhat similar in my home state of Massachusetts, uh, ranked choice voting was on the ballot back in 2020 and um, wasn't able to get passed. But now countless more people that I talk to and that I've interacted with and that I see now know about RCV and support it. Um, I maybe will might seem a bit of an optimist, but do you think that there's merit in the byproduct of a loss that eventually leads to some sort of victory? Or do you think those are more just self-contained victories with like limited success? No, sometimes that is the case. I mean, it's very hard in any particular situation to say, could this defeat actually be what eventually rockets us to a victory? But in business, that's extraordinarily common where a business will have an initial product or service which fails and that allows them to realize oh, there's actually this completely different way to do it. There's this better idea. And were it not for the failure, if the initial failure had instead been a modest success, they would have never come across the major success. And the same thing can happen. It's just hard in any particular case to say, OK, does the failure of rank choice mean that eventually it will be an even bigger success? It's so hard to say. But conceptually, that's not an infrequent occurrence. Something fails. It lets you reset and figure out the best way or the right way or whatever. And then you have an even bigger success than you otherwise would have had. Great. Yeah, no, I definitely, definitely agree with you. Um, New Coke, for example. Um, yeah. So what was the deal I with that? I, I've actually read about that. So Coke introduced was New Coke the one that was clear or it was just the new flavor? No, that's Crystal Pepsi. New Coke was like they sort of changed. I might be getting this a little wrong, but New Coke, yeah. they like changed the recipe and tried to like rebrand Coke. This was during like the Cola Wars in the yeah. 80s and uh, it backfired badly. So they brought back Coke Classic and Coke Classic did much, much better than um, than New Coke. Right. Yep. I, I've read extensively, although it was years ago about that that area. It's actually fascinating, even as a non soda drinker, generally speaking, like myself. All right. Um, I did have a, a follow up question. Sure. Uh, so as we know, Biden is he's not very popular right now. Uh, I believe that recent poll said that 71 percent of, of Americans uh, don't want him to seek reelection, which isn't doesn't spell great for the Democrats in 2024. Uh, and I've heard whispers and murmurs that Gavin Newsom would be in his uh, in his absence if he doesn't seek reelection. Something that I've I'm not I don't really have much to back this up. It's more of just a hypothesis, but I'm worried that the DNC would sort of panic and they'd find a moderate Democrat or somebody who's maybe not so moderate, um, like Tulsi Gabbard, for example, who no. if you see, she has not I, I'm, I was worried they were just going to just throw her to the front no, no. because the, a lot Tulsi's of not even a Democrat her. at this point. If the, the DNC certainly might anoint someone, they might say we're anointing Kamala in Joe Biden's absence on the ticket or who, whoever. But they're, they're not going to go to Tulsi. Tulsi is essentially a Republican. She spoke at CPAC, you know? Yeah, she spoke at CPAC. It's crazy. Now, that, don't worry about that. That's not going to happen. OK, yeah, no. uh, j just like a just a general hypothesis. I said. Yep. But uh, yeah, that, thank you for taking my call. My pleasure. Great to hear from you. There goes a treaties from Boston. Great to speak to people. That does it for today. But we will take calls again.